I will explain to you what exactly minimum simulation idea. But first, let's say how many different terminology has been using to describe the minimum simulation. There's called minimal stimulation, mini IVF, micro IVF, echo IVF, or modified natural cycle IVF. So you can see there are many different terminology, but anything trying to describe to use less medicine is in the category of minimal stimulation IVF. So generally speaking, a protocol of minimal stimulation IVF means you're taking very, very few oral pills in conjunction with very few injections. Just to help you to understand, in comparison to conventional IVF, you will get a, a typical about uh, 10 to 20 days of daily injections. So that's from the methodology point of view, you can see the difference between minimal less medicine versus conventional IVF. So generally speaking, the minimal stimulation IVF is based on the fact that you don't make many good eggs, so we take less medicine to make it between one, two, or three eggs, but promote the quality of these eggs to give you, if not the same or better results as compared with the conventional IVF. So typically the two group of patients will benefit more from gentle or we call minimal stimulation IVF will be the patients who are older than 39 years old, as we just mentioned, they do not make more than one good egg to concentrate on to make maximum number of eggs no longer have the same benefits and the group of patients who are less than 37 years old. And the second group of patients who may benefit from minimal stimulation IVF or natural cycle IVF with a patient who simply do not make more than one X, no matter how much medicine you get. What kind of group of these patients? You may hear very often called a poor responders. The definition of poor responders make less than three follicles. So this group patient is actually just better to go with the natural or minimal stimulation idea.